This week we've just released our next course which is how to sculpt a dragon in Nomad Sculpt and I thought I'd give away a chapter of that course just to show you the kind of thing that we do teach. If you've not seen our courses before then please nip over and have a look, the links are all down below um, and enjoy this chapter. So because of the way we've made this little dragon, we can now set up a hierarchy in here. And to make it easier for you, I'll just make the overall scale of the panels a bit bigger, simply because you can see uh, my um, uh, the stack, the hierarchy stack a little bit better. Um, so what we want to do now is in um, in the latest version, in this one, which is uh, 1.68, you can when you move things around the hierarchy stack you just drag them like this tap on them and move them and you can move things into groups or to be parents and children of other objects so if we take the cylinder and if we make the body a child of the cylinder we drag it on top of it that means if I move the cylinder around the body moves with it which is quite useful so if we now take the head and we move the head to be a child of the body and then if you move the, the body around, the head moves with it. So you can see where this is going. We basically make everything a child of something else. So think about it logically. So the wings, and we've got two of them, are part of the body. So you drag them to the body. So what you don't do is this. Um, you don't make a wing a child of a wing. So you've got to be careful. You don't drop it in accidentally. So it should be the body. And there should be two. Oops, can't seem to grab that one now. So we've got wings, so body wing wing all off the same so if i move the body now the wings will move with it so we're nearly there and then the last one would be eyeballs would be under the head so one ball and then the other one like so so if you move the head now you now get this you get the ability to move the head so this is cool for posing now you could do a lot more than this and you with your design you can go uh, you know much much further into this you could separate the legs and do them and make them fully posable or you could do even even down to doing like the top half of the wing and the bottom half of the wing depending on what you want this model for so for example now if we rotate the body we get the whole thing moving around so that's quite useful if we rotate one of the wings we just get the ability to pose the wing as we want to like this. Now, one thing you'll notice, or you might not have noticed in here, is that it looks a bit odd in here, and that's because the pivot point isn't in a good place. So if you before you do it, or, or even after, you can just move your pivot and make sure that it, it works for how you want it to, to, to rotate. Um, so let's move that other wing. So you can tap on it here, or you can tap on it here. Um, and then we can just move the wing like that. So you can do, you know, you can get it into the pose that you need quite easily. And then if we then go on to say the head, and now you can move the head round, move it, I'll give him like a quizzical look, or have him maybe looking up at us. That's always a good shot. Make sure that nothing's interacting. So for example, or intersecting, should I say. So you see how the wing and the head are now like that. So now we'd want to pull the wing back. So it, it does it something like that. And then now we can take the eyeballs one by one and just bring them up to look at us. And the eyeballs should rotate because they're a sphere. You can move them around quite easily. So that all works really, really well. And as you can see there, you can get some really dynamic poses with, without doing any rigging or anything like that at all. Um, one thing you can do as well just for simple posing is just using the move tool. You can take things off symmetry. So this tail, for example, we could just move it slightly off symmetry like this. Be careful if, you know, this isn't a, a solution that, this isn't going to give you the best posing. Um, it, it's going to give you some form of a pose. Um, so for example, you might want to just pull this leg back a little bit and it will deform. You can see how it's deforming it. So this 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 isn't the, the preferred method. Um, it's just one of a, of a range of ways we, we can move stuff around. But as you can see, we can get quite a dynamic pose and then keep tapping around you know, to move stuff around if it's not working. Um, and especially this, this works really well if you're an illustrator and you just want to get your um, creatures and characters in a place that, that you can then render them uh, and, send, and send them out uh, you know, from here.
We launched our first online classes in 2020 and chose Nomad Sculpt as our test subject. Mobile sculpting was a fairly new phenomenon and Forger was leading the way with Nomad being the new kid on the block. We launched the Nomad Beginners course, which included how to make a little woodland friend. This was then followed by the T-Rex course, the Droid course, the Tattoo course. And now we've launched this little Nomad Garden course that brings phase one to an end. I had a plan for all this, but I didn't really explain it all to you. Our courses are either a foundation, a skill building, or a project-based format, and the foundation courses are the deep dives into a subject, software, or business tool like the YouTube For You course that we now offer. They cover a subject in its entirety from the ground up and are generally five to 10 hours of in-depth learning. The skill builder courses are a little more targeted and aim to teach you one aspect of a subject in greater detail. We'd always advise that anyone taking this course is not a beginner or preferably they've taken our beginner course in that area. And these are generally two to three hours in length. The project based courses are for specialist areas and generally assume that the student has a good grasp of that area of focus and just wants to get more specifics from that course. They're anywhere from one to three hours long. What I actually didn't explain was what those courses were doing for you as you work through them. The foundation course for Nomad gave you that all important start in understanding how it all works. Along with that, we gave you a character course, which is a fantastic way to build muscle memory and keep you engaged as you learn. The droid course then gave you some hard surface skills. The T-Rex course, which was nothing to do with dinosaurs and actually everything to do with your first look at creature creation. The latest offering and the last of the Nomad Skill Builder courses is to top off your skills with environments. And that's a pretty comprehensive range of skills to start you off as a digital artist. It's an easy structure to keep adding fun and interesting projects that keep building your knowledge and it makes you a more rounded sculptor. Next up, we're gonna add those all important projects to Nomad and then start the journey all over again with software like Procreate, Gravity Sketch, ZBrush, and Adobe Modeler, and loads, loads more. The community side of things is just as important to us. And we've now got the collective area, a new resource hub where we'll be storing all of the free assets and a new offering, um, including coaching, membership, and more mentorship places this year. I hope that helps you understand our roadmap a little bit better and it's all about helping you create in new and innovative ways. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoyed that free chapter from our latest course, How to Sculpt a Dragon in Nomad Sculpt. And if you did, why not give the video a like? And if you're giving it a like, why not give it a thumbs up and hit the notification bell? And we'll let you know when we upload new content, which is every week. If you do like what we do, then please take a look at the description down below and we've got all the details of all the courses that we do do. And if you do that and you're doing it on Black Friday, then you've got a whole week where everything is 50% off. So please take advantage of that. And if not, then wait for the next one. Have a great week, everyone.